And, um, welcome to the, I don't, it, it doesn't matter what number this is, of the audio logs. I mean, it's, not much has happened, so I haven't really got anything to talk about. I guess I have some things, like, data back on that I could talk about, like, um, I don't know, I think it's funny that Nintendo fans were celebrating about Splatoon and stuff like that. I always find Nintendo fans hilarious because of how odd they are. Like, <laughs> with PS3 and Xbox 360, you got ridiculous amounts of new IP every couple seconds due to, you know, indie game markets and stuff like that. But with the Nintendo? No. No one cares. There has never been a limbo or a braid or anything for the Nintendo. And that is hilarious. Um, so when Splatoon comes out, they start celebrating and I'm just sat there like, I play these types of games on a regular basis. I buy these types of games on a regular basis. And yet there are people out there celebrating because one particular one that honestly just looks like a... it does look pretty cool, but still just a small little third-person shooter thing with Jiggy has apparently got all this like hype and stuff like that behind it, which I just... it is just so funny to see that happen, of this, this thing of Nintendo fans being so obviously bored of the franchises that Nintendo keeps shoving down their throats. Because they, you know, they'll, they'll say, "Oh no, we're not bored of continually playing Mario every freaking year." But when it actually comes down to it, they are, they are, or else Splatoon wouldn't have got the hype that it has. If it's, 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 it's silly, and it's one of the reasons why I dislike Nintendo, and also the other one because the consoles aren't ever very good, like at all. <laughs> Like, that's not to say, like, um, and I know people like the 3DS, and I personally like the iVita better, but that's made to be because I decided to buy a 3D, the Vita instead of a 3DS. I didn't really like the DS. Then again, didn't have that many games for it, but, um, hmm. Hmm. But then, um, it's, it, <laughs> It's, it's, it, you know, they never made really good consoles or anything like that, or at least not recently. Like, the way, yeah, it was pretty popular in the casual market and stuff like that, but I, that's not, market is not me, so I couldn't give a, anything about the Wii. But the Wii U, it's still, it's, it's not doing either. Um, A, their naming is utterly stupid and one of the reasons why it failed horribly. Um, and then secondly, the fact that no one cares. I, I don't understand which market they're trying to appeal towards. Their naming failed to make it appeal towards the casual market, because the casual market is still all on the mobiles and the Wii. And also the fact that the Wii U doesn't have any really casual games. Or at least not to the amount that the Wii U... The, 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 the Wii U doesn't have the amount of casual games that the Wii did. Meaning that it, it is just nothing. It's nothing. Like, when I heard that Bayonetta 2 was going to be exclusive to the Wii U, I was like, seriously, um, hmm, right, that makes perfect sense. A console that has originally been constantly targeted casual people are obviously going to, you know, play Bayonetta 2. Right. I see the perfect marketing right there, Nintendo. Genius. Utter genius. <sighs> Oh yeah, on the top of that, because I was about to say something about Super Smash Bros. Blah 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 blah, or whatever the hell it's called now. Um, I I never really liked for that many fighting games. I mean, literally the only one I owned was Ever Blast Blue Continuum Shift, and that's because I got it free through PlayStation Plus. So yeah, I've never actually bought a fighting game. Um, actually no, I also own PlayStation Battle Royale Stars something or other, which again I got three through PlayStation Plus. <laughs> never bought and never bought fighting game. They're not my type of game. But but there's um it's it, it's it's odd. I I don't I would never buy a console for one game. I I'm going to at one point get a PS4 because I want a billion different games on it. Obviously there are some standout games like Little Big Planet 3 and Bloodborne. I know I'm into a lot of different games, aren't I now? But um it's it's um yeah, I'd never buy a console just for Super Smash Brothers Brawl Ultimate 360 No Scope, whatever the fuck edition. Um so it it it's stupid. But then again, 
the idea that um, uh, I just hate Nintendo because of the fact that they never come up with any new ideas, or any new ideas are always based around the idea that they'll just continually use Mario, because you know, Mario is literally the most boring character in this entire games. Every other character is always fun, uh, except for Mario. Mario is boring, Mario is annoying, Mario is amazingly f Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. PlayStation All-Stars, Battle Royale, totally not Super Smash Bros. Yo's. It's, it's funny. A, because most of the, the characters range from Parappa the Rapper to the Hell Gas Dude. Um, I don't see any conflict there at all. Like, at least with Super Smash Bros, it's always, like, at least childish characters and stuff like that. I say that, that's not really the right word. Cartoonish, childish. You know what I mean when I say that. Not the Hellgast from, um, Killzone. Not them. Um, <laughs> so. So. It, it's. it's you know, that makes sense. It makes sense to have this consistency, so you know who you're targeting towards. But then when you have characters like. Um, the Big Daddy fighting Sackboy. That is uh, admittedly very, very funny, but at the same time, very, very stupid. Um, and that's, that's just not very good. Uh, I mean, I like the game, but I don't really like um, fighters that much. So, yeah, and I also don't play that many, so I don't really have much to judge it by. A bit, kind of, yeah, a bit meh. And also, <laughs> uh, their version of Master Hand. Uh, I, uh, maybe it's because I never really played the games, but Master Hand always seemed like a bit meh. I mean, I, I, I get it makes sense. Like, a giant floaty hand thing is a bit creepy. Mainly because I was always under the impression that it was like a representation of a higher power, like all you could seriously perceive was one of his hands. Not even that. Um, but apparently, no, he is just a floating hand. He's not part of a huge monster or anything like that. He is not actually the Hand of Cthulhu or anything stupid. He is just a hand. And that's not particularly scary in my book. Or intimidating. Um, yeah, so that always was a bit of a shit villain, in my opinion. Um, but Polygon Man, or whatever the hell they decided to call him, is even worse. Ah, <sighs> oh, God. But yeah, I really like the way they do the levels in PlayStation Battle Royale. Something that Super Smash Bros. should definitely do, and I wish it did. But, um, Super Smash, the PlayStation All-Stars, god, these names are retarded, are, um, actually, it does the levels really, really well. Because how they work is, you know, you'll pick a level like, um, uh, Parappa the Rapper's level. And you have the Onion Dude, and it'll be all doing this silly little things. And then suddenly halfway through the level, a giant Killzone spider mech thing will invade the level, and it is hilarious. Like you're on one of the Pompoko levels, uh, whatever the name is called, and a Metal Gear Ray will appear in the background and start beating the shit out of things. I think that's brilliant. That's hilarious. Um, it, it messes, it's just like, oh, we've got serious kill zone level here, and then uh, Ape Escape or Dr. Nefarious or something like that will pop in in the background and start doing things. And that is brilliant! And the way they use the music and remix it and stuff, it's all clever and stuff. Though I must admit, their character roster is still really, really derpy. Like, <laughs> they have evil Cole McCall and good Cole McCall. Uh, by the way, I call him Cole McCall because I know his name's Cole McGrath, but, um, or Graf Mc... It doesn't really matter. Cole McCall is his name because that's what I called him when I was playing Infamous 2. Um, so, <laughs> you got the evil version of him and the good version of him, and the only difference is one of them has the ice power and the other one has the fire power. That's a bit really dumb, actually. Amazingly so. And there are other things, like... Bioshock isn't exclusive to Sony at all. And yet you got the big daddy there. Um, and this is just continuing on like that. You know, you got characters like Jack and Dexter. Uh, except it's the stupid Jack and Dexter when, you know, Jack and Dexter decided it would be a good idea to copy Ratchet and Clank or GTA or both of them, and suddenly had no real identity of its own, and then they tried going back with Jack 3, and Jack 3 is actually terrible. Yeah, um, Jack and Dexter 1 is only the real good one. I can, I can understand people liking Jack and Dexter 2, but Jack 3 was utter shite, and Jack and Dexter 2 
it wasn't as good as Ratchet and Clank. So it, it, it was trying to be a third-person shooter in this weird, wonderful, fantastical, sci-fi, fantasy world thingamajiggy that has actually turned out to be in the past and stuff like that. But then, um, yeah, spoilers, whoa. But um, then it actually turns out that it, it, it's, it's, no, it's just not as good as the Ratchet Clank series. So you're a bit spoiled there. Um, so yeah, Dragon Dexter 1, amazing. Definitely recommend it to anybody. Dragon Dexter 2. No, Jack 3, stay away. And then there's Ratchet and Clank character. Well, Ratchet and Clank even. Um, I like the Ratchet and Clank series. I mean, I recently replayed 2 and 3 on my Vita, and that was pretty fun. Um, I've played all the way up until a cracking time. Uh, actually, no, I did definitely finish a cracking time. So, yeah, I haven't played. Well, I did play a little bit of All for One uh, with my sister when I got it on PlayStation Plus. Meh. I stopped. We both stopped playing it very, very quickly, um, and then all the others. Like, I mean, I looked at Nexus and went, "Meh." I, I guess people just don't care about Ratchet and Clank anymore, and uh, that includes me, I guess. Which kind of sucks. Oh yeah, and there's um, the Q Force as well. <laughs> Couldn't care less about that one either. <sighs> Which kind of sucks, really, because I really like those games. Oh well. <sighs> oh well, I've completely run out of things to say. And we are literally three minutes away from the... Well, I am three minutes away from the end. So, I guess I'm just going to have to stop it here as a... I don't know if you can hear the truck. I'm pretty sure you can't hear the truck that just went right past my house. Um, hmm. I don't know if my microphone picks it up. Doesn't matter. Goodbye. Leave me alone. I don't care. I don't know why I just said that. I'm going to sleep. Alright.